Morning, everyone. It's uh, 832 on this Friday. It's, ex it's an expiration, the monthly expiration of options. And this is your pre-opening call. It is um, video number 1761. So there was no uh, actual economic news, but there were a couple of earnings reports. Uh, the first being John Deere, symbol DE, uh, which currently is 386 and that's up about $14. And on the downside, a company with a double miss, top and bottom lines, um, same store sales down, and poor guidance. And um, that one is Foot Locker. And it's having an effect on the entire group. Uh, but as I said, Foot Locker missed top and bottom line, lower same store sales, poor guidance, and the stock is down about 25%. 31 and small change down almost 11. So that's a, a pretty extreme move. And Catalent, CTLT, which postponed putting out and got extensions for not once, but twice, for their quarterly earnings, finally showed them the stock is 30 down $2.15, or just under 5%. Asia and Europe are both uh, moderately higher, and the Dow, which at 7 o'clock was up 82, the opening now is uh, looking like up 116. Um after its huge day yesterday on a relative basis, the NASDAQ is up about 12. That follows uh, yesterday's up 188 or 1.5%. One and, and the S&P is up about $14 after being up almost a full percent, up uh, 39.28. Um as far as the futures go, uh, the chart on the screen is the oil, which, um, you know, broke through and then turned back up. In that couple of days, we moved from a high of about 77 all the way down uh, to 60. 357. That's a pretty extensive move. We did close near the high that day, and uh, then uh, in two days, we were back up into that seven, almost 74. Came down with a higher low and a test in a consolidation, and uh, this morning is up another dollar uh, 33. As far as uh, the rest of the markets, the grains are bouncing back. The wheat, which we are long, is up 5.4 cents at 6.17 and a quarter a bushel. Uh, net gas, which was up big yesterday, has given back less than one penny. So that's pretty impressive. Gold, after a horrendous couple of days, is up six and a half. Not much gain there, uh, considering that we were down, uh, let's see, we were down 25 yesterday. The day before, we were down about the same. I mean, this has been a hard turn to the downside. Silver is up 820, but again, you know, something goes down two cents, pardon me, two dollars, and then comes back 10 cents is pretty unimpressive. Uh, copper up about six cents. Uh, the softs see uh, the uh, coffee up four and a half. Little changed in the cotton up almost 40 cents in the sugar. And the 30 year bond is down a half a point. And surprisingly, the dollar is down 41 cents, which is about what it was up yesterday. So uh, it looks like we're getting a little closer to a um, raise in the debt ceiling. So we'll have to see how that works. Um, also, just one little note uh, Two senators, including uh, Gottheimer from New Jersey, have introduced a bill that 
uh, as long if we do default, then Congress does not get paid. And it's not a postponement. It's actually a loss of that pay. And, and, and frankly, it's about time that when they don't do their job, they don't get paid. All right, everyone. Have a good weekend. Uh, go Celtics after that really lousy start. And I'll be back Monday morning.